Welcome to tonight's dinner and table. I'm Cassandra and today I'm going to teach you how to play Harry Potter House Cup Competition. This is a worker placement game where you are going to be controlling and placing students of a specific Hogwarts house in order to try to win the House Cup in the end with the most points. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I think that's it. Yeah, so let's get to it. Lay the board in the center of the table. Place the cool hourglass display near the board. If it's your first time playing, you will need to assemble it. It's super easy, don't worry about it. Place the knowledge and the magic tokens in piles near the board as well. Shuffle the four smaller decks individually. These are gonna be the basic and advanced lessons and the easy and hard challenges. Place them in the upper left and upper right hands of the board. The other three decks are going to be the location decks. Randomly pick one card from the single fleur de lis deck and place it face up on this space. Randomly choose two from the two fleur de lis deck and one from the three fleur de lis deck and place them face down on their spots. The first player is the person who has most recently been to school or however you choose to decide first players. They will receive the first player token. They will also choose a house board. With that house board you will get the house gems that match that color, the three students that belong to that house, nine level trackers, and a player reference card. Whew, that is a lot of stuff you get. They will also get two basic lessons and two knowledge tokens. The third player will get an extra knowledge token and the fourth player will get an extra magic token and one easy challenge card. The level trackers will get placed on each of the students three classes at level one. The last things that need to be placed are the round tracker at the first space of the round track and to reveal the top three cards of all of the lesson and challenge decks. Play will be done in rounds. Every round has two phases. Phase one is going to be placing your students and phase two is going to be defeating challenges. On your turn, you will place a student and then optionally learn a lesson. To place a student, you will move them from your common room board to a location on the main board. Some locations are only available in three or four player games as listed underneath the location. Some locations will cost you resources or require a minimum class level to enter. Only one student can be at each location, so you're going to have to prioritize which locations are going to help you out the most. Once placed, immediately gain the rewards of that locale. You can choose to learn a lesson from your hand. This can be either before or after you have placed your student. The placed student must meet the requirements on the card. You will immediately gain the rewards and the lesson goes into the lesson discard pile. After placing a student and possibly learning a lesson, the next player will go. Phase one will end when all players have placed all three of their students. Phase two is the challenge phase. You can have your house face up to two challenges to try to put it ahead of the other houses. You can Play two challenges. They will either be two easy challenges or one easy and one hard challenge. Your students can work together to try to defeat these challenges, but each student can only tackle one challenge per round. Those challenge or challenges your students face will come from your hand. 
move those students to the respective challenges. If your students at the challenge meet the level and resource needs, you'll immediately gain those rewards. These rewards may then help you complete your other challenge. For every 10 House Cup points you win, you will place one gem in your hourglass. Completed challenge cards go in the completed challenge piles on your common room board. If you're not meeting the level requirements for either a lesson or for a challenge, you can use magic tokens to lower the level requirements. For each magic token spent, you lower the requirement by one level. Return all of your students to your common room board. Move the round tracker up one space. If it's the beginning of round two, four, or six, you will reveal the location card above said round. These are now locations available for the rest of the game. The player with the first player token will begin the next round. In a two player game, the first player token will pass from the other player unless it was gained during phase one. The game will end at the end of round seven. All players will count their points. For every gem in the hourglass, you will get 10 points. For every level tracker at level seven in your common room, you will gain 10 points. And for every pair of one magic token and one knowledge token, you will gain 10 points. The player with the most points wins. If a tie, the player who defeated the most hard challenges is the victor. If it's still a tie, then the player who's defeated the overall most challenges is the victor. And if it's still a tie, then they're gonna share the victory until next time at least. So that was how you play Harry Potter House Cup competition. It's a fun worker placement with a strong IP behind it. Excited for it.